So our next speaker is Neil. Neil G is a crypto miner living in Canada. Uh, he's an investor who founded IPFS Men, wh which provided the most comprehensive and professional support, including customized IPFS mining rigs and global co-location services, and then the app uh, development to the IPFS ecosystem. That's welcome, Neil. Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, my great pleasure to be here. Uh, today, I want to talk about something special. I want to talk about the next generation internet and how we can get there. Uh, let me start with a little bit of introduction here. Uh, I'm the co-founder of IPFS Main. We are one of the largest hardware and cloud mining service providers for Falcon and IPFS. Our mission is to provide reliable and free access to information for everyone. In 2011, we saw this play out in Egypt, where suddenly one morning people woke up and realized the internet was completely shut down. They can talk to each other or get information from outside worlds. In 2017, the internet access was cut off more than 80 times around the world, up from 56 times the year before. We use internet to communicate with others, to learn, to play, and to work together. And we have been sharing so much about ourselves in the last 30 years, but unfortunately, we built it on a very fragile infrastructure. The information on our internet is centralized. The data is so centralized that only a few companies own most of our data, and we have no say in how that data is used. Think about that. This is unimaginable power, because with just a few clicks, these companies are able to manipulate large swaths of populace. And this centralization brings another problem, which is censorship. So we saw Turkey blocking Wikipedia and China blocking Facebook and YouTube. And you may ask that then why we keep using such a model. Well, that's because we want everything to load right away. We want to download a two-hour 4K movie in minutes, and we want to load website pages in milliseconds. Centralizing servers allow the companies to have full control over high speed and high quality delivery. And years over years, people have been trying really hard to find a good and a fast alternative until they meet the interplanetary file system, or IPFS. IPFS is a new peer-to-peer -peer hypermedia protocol, a network initially designed by Huang Benet. It aims to supplement or possibly even replace the HTTP protocol that rules the web now. I'm not saying HTTP is a bad protocol. It's a fantastic protocol, and it has helped developing the internet since 20 years ago. But it does have some limitations in terms of how websites are represented or how data is stored on the website. When you're using HTTP to access the content on the web, you have to tell the computer exactly where to find it. In this case, the location of the content is the IP address, or the domain name which maps to an IP address. And that location identifies a specific set of computers that will serve the content you're requesting. But if that location isn't accessible, or you are disconnected, you just can't access the content at all. And that's called location addressing. To fix this, IPFS moves from the location addressing to content addressing, which means instead of saying where to find the content, you just say what you want. Every file on the IPFS has a unique hash, like a fingerprint. When you want to access a certain file, you ask the network who has the file with this hash, and someone on the IPFS will provide it to you. And because you're using hashes to request files, you will be able to verify what you have received and that's building security. Other nice features like deduplication is making the web more efficient. I don't have time to go over all these today, but you got the idea. IPFS is fantastic. But there's a problem is that how can we keep files available like all the time on the network? Um, say there's a specific file hosted by three nodes. And if those three nodes go offline, then nobody can grab a copy of it. 
It's like a bit torrent swamp without cedars. There are two possible solutions for this. Either we incentivize people to store files and keep them available, or make sure there are always a certain number of copies available on the network. And that's exactly what Filecoin intends to do. Filecoin is created by Protocol Labs that has created the IPFS. It's essentially a blockchain built on top of IPFS to create a market of storage where miners earn by providing storage to clients and clients spend Filecoin tokens hiring miners to store or distribute data. As we know, most blockchains require miners to solve a hard computational puzzle. And usually the solution to these puzzles are useless and do not have inherent value beyond securing the network. And um, Filecoin miners uh, compete to um, mine blocks with sizable rewards like Bitcoin. And, uh, but the, 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 the Filecoin mining power is proportional to the active storage, uh, which directly provides a useful service to clients. Um, but what about security? You know, there's data breaches frequently. Um, in 2017, um, Aquafast had reported that there's 146 uh, million records stolen, including date of birth, phone numbers, addresses, um, social security number, and credit card information. About 10 days ago, one of the largest online retail company, New Ag, uh, reported that there's over 380,000 transactions caught by some Nazi code running on the website. And you know, news like this really keep me up at night. Um, but luckily, Falcon Network can provide security, as content is encrypted end-to-end -end at the client, while storage providers and other people don't have access to the decryption keys. Also, the network achieves robustness by replicating and dispersing content while automatically detecting and repairing replica failures. The clients, they can select different replication parameter again, uh, to protect against different threat models. Um, so we believe the IPFS and Filecoin is the dawn of blockchain development and it will bring some significant impact to cloud storage, big data, and internet industry. So we founded the IPFS main headquarters in Shenzhen, China, AKA the Silicon Valley of hardware. We have successfully raised 30 million Chinese yuan from Huayin Capital in May this year. And you can see our service includes FICO mining rigs, global mining farms, and DApp development. Our goal is to provide the most professional and comprehensive support to the IPFS ecosystem. In 20. 17, Filecoin has raised $52 million in the pre-ICO and $205 million in the ICO. And that's just 10% of Filecoin tokens. 70% of Filecoin will be mined by Filecoin miner as block rewards in a six-year half-life manner. Jeff Bezos has a great saying, your margin is my opportunity, and I believe Amazon's margin is Filecoin's opportunity. And uh, the cloud storage market size is expected to grow to $88.9 billion by 2022. And, you know, it's, it's a big market, and um, Filecoin is newborn. Now is the time to get in. From November 1st, we will start the pre sale for these Falcon mining rigs in North America. M1 with four base house wrapping will fit perfectly in your house somewhere under the desk or right beside the router. And if you are a serious player with some uh, data center resources or mining farms, then M2 and M3 are your best choices. Please note that these specs are not final, as our, uh, all of our products have the flexibility of being modified or upgraded should Filecoin protocol changes in the future. If you are interested, but you don't want to deal with the, say, hardware handling or maintenance, you're very welcome to join our global mining partner system. Uh, it's something like cloud mining, 
But instead of using the computer power in the POW mining system, we use disk space and bandwidth to quantify. And uh, we are developing mining farms in 20 locations around the world. And uh, we believe it's a tremendous advantage for us because these mining farms are located in the middle of dense cities with low latency and high bandwidth connections to lots of users. And this will make us really competitive in both storage and retrieval market. So with that, I'm really excited about the future of IPFS and FICON and can answer more questions afterward. But hopefully this gives you a good idea of why IPFS and blockchain would be the dawn of blockchain development. Thank you.